Hello from Tennessee. So I'm gonna do another drive time video. Uh, it's a uh, Friday Eve. Um, tomorrow's Friday the 13th. So I don't know if that uh, does anything for anybody, but uh, I, I don't give much credence to it personally. Um, it's been a good week. Uh, hobby wise, um, I shipped out a couple watches. They have arrived, so I'm hoping the recipients are happy with those watches. There were two awesome watches. Um, in terms of inbound stuff, I have a uh, have a really cool strap coming in um, for my. I think I mentioned this earlier, but I have a really cool strap for my uh, my visitor uh, Dune Shore Shallows Tangerine. That's this really cool uh, green, um, kind of like a suede look, along with um, some orange contrast uh, stitching. So I think that's going to have this really look pretty killer. And then I had another thought too, is um, I had posted up a video yesterday, or a couple days ago when I was walking the dogs, and I kind of called it Docs and Dogs, uh, and one of my uh, followers recommended like a black uh, rubber strap on the dock set. Um, so I think I've got a couple 22 mil uh, rubber straps. Um, so I might, I might try that and take it off the beads of rice. I haven't, haven't had it off the beads of rice since I've had it. Um, but as you all know, like just changing up straps and purchasing straps is a great way to really do a nice refresh on your collection. And there are so many options out there. I, I think I've, I think I've fine-tuned what I like, and uh, I'm definitely finding that, especially on the leather strap side, that I've, uh, um, I think they can really enhance a watch. I got this uh, a little while back. Got a really cool ostrich black strap for another visitor I have. So. Just a great way to kind of update, you know, update the collection affordably to as well. And, uh, the thing is, with those with, with straps, especially like leather straps, um, I think I kind of made a mistake initially when I bought some, you know, and got some less expensive ones. And I'm finding my sweet spot on leather straps because you can spend a lot of money, especially for something that's bespoke, you know, type of strap. But finding like the sweet spot is probably between like 49 and maybe $79 or so. Um, if you do a little research, I think that price range works pretty well and you get something that is um, decent quality. So I might be doing some more on some of the, the strap purchases I've made you know, some of my favorites, too, as well, so just something else that's been on my mind. Um, and I think the, the last thing that's on my mind, um, as I kind of travel home, like, like I said on the last drive time video I did, this is kind of, I, I got out of town, you can see I got through the traffic, and now this is just like a, a nice little kind of country road, and hopefully the sound's a little better, and my uh, camera orientation's a TV bit better, too, as well. I enjoy this drive. I find it relaxing. Uh, so, again, to, to the last thing I'll add, um, unless something else comes up. Uh, uh, my buddy Rob did a video the other day where uh, he just showed uh, all the watches that he had been gifted from Phobes. I mean, he's got a prolific channel and um, he does a lot for the community. I think a lot more than a, a lot of you all see.
mostly virtually. I'm not, I'm not a big travel guy, and I'm hoping that changes over the next few years, but my circumstances make it very challenging for me to, to travel at this particular time. But that, I anticipate that changing you know, over the next couple of years. Um, but with that said, I've made a lot of good friends in this hobby. By virtue of having this channel too as well, um, uh, people reach out to me. I've, uh, you know, one of, uh, I'm connecting with one of the followers um, that we've been communicating. And I think we, we've got some great talk on it. Yeah, we talk about watches and stuff. I've sold them some stuff, but my buddy Johnny, uh, he, he's a good guy. And we've been chatting about stuff. So, you know, that, that circle just continues to grow. And, you know, unfortunately, as human beings with busy lives, and unfortunately, I am not independently wealthy, as you can tell, because I'm driving home from work right now. Uh, time, is the, time is the big thing, you know. Talk about watches, talk about time, right? But it's, it's having the time to, uh, you know, try to connect with these like-minded people. It gets, it gets challenging sometimes too as well. So. But I appreciate the, the friendships I made in this hobby, especially the, the folks within the, the Discord. And just, uh, I think I've said this a bunch of times throughout the years on videos. It's like, you know, find your place. Find your place in the community. Find the people, like-minded people that you can enjoy this hobby with. It's not the type of hobby that's definitely, it's definitely not the type of hobby that's fun to do by yourself. So definitely recommend finding a good group. Uh, reach out to me if you want through my uh, Instagram channel. I can give some suggestions. Uh, but, uh, and, and I think importantly too is like, you know, as my tagline says, as you'll say in a second, but, you know, making friends, staying positive, and then, you know, and just enjoying it too as well. I think, that, I think that's important. So, I think that's about it. This is kind of a long ramble, but it's easy to do when you're driving, so, yeah, giving y'all a chance to see some Eastern Tennessee again. You know, these leaves will start dropping soon, so. It's a whole different look through here too as well.